When a person collapses from sudden cardiac arrest like this survivor, quick action is necessary, usually CPR, which traditionally means chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But two new studies say the mouth-to-mouth -mouth part may not always be necessary. Researchers found chest compressions only could be enough to save lives. Both studies, one conducted in Washington State in London and the other in Sweden, involve CPR performed by bystanders who were coached by 911 dispatchers. Half of those trying to rescue a cardiac arrest victim were instructed to use traditional CPR with mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. The other half just used chest compressions. Researchers found that approximately the same number of patients in each of the two CPR groups survived. Previous research has shown people are more likely to attempt CPR if they don't have to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Since 2008, the American Heart Association has encouraged bystanders to use chest compression only CPR and says providing CPR immediately after sudden cardiac arrest can double or triple a victim's chance of survival. For today's Health Minute, I'm Chuck Roberts.